next step in the bike assembly is to install the internal DI2 cables. First, use a DI2 cable tool to insert a 950mm cable into the seat post battery. Use the Shimano tool to insert the cable into the battery until you hear it click. Next, use an internal brake cable to insert the electrical cable into the bottom bracket. Use some electrical tape with a clean edge to join the two cables for installation. Tape the ends of the two cables together, keeping the overlap of the cables and size of the joint small. Insert the brake cable into the seat post hole in the frame. Thread the cable down until it reaches the bottom bracket. The cable is easy to see once it is near the exit hole. Use an old spoke or something similar to guide the cable out of the hole. Once the cable has been pulled through, you can insert the seat tube into the frame. After the seat post has been installed and tightened, the internal junction box needs to be installed. Simply connect the cable into one of the holes on the junction box until you hear the click. Next, install a 350mm cable for the front derailleur. Insert the cable into the hole near the derailleur mount on the frame. Once the cable has been threaded through far enough to reach the bottom bracket, use the old spoke to help guide the cable out of the bottom bracket hole. Once the cable is out of the hole, insert the end into the junction box until you hear the click. Next, install the rear derailleur cable. First step is to remove the cable stop installed in the frame using a 2.5mm Allen key. Once the cable stop has been removed, use some electrical tape to join the electrical cable to the cable guide installed in the frame. Using the spoke, you can guide the electrical cable out of the bottom bracket cable hole. Once the cable is out of the frame, connect it to the junction box until it clicks. After the cable has been plugged in, reinstall the cable stop. Slide the cable through the middle and use the 2.5mm Allen key to tighten it on the frame. Next use one of the three cable guides by the head tube to insert the longest electrical cable. Use electrical tape to attach the two cables together before sliding it into the frame. Once you start to thread the cable into the frame, please be sure to connect the far end of the electrical cable into the junction box to stop the cable from being completely pulled through the frame. Guide the other end of the cable out of the bottom bracket hole and connect it to the junction box until it clicks.